This is Health Broadcasting Service, HBS Radios, your global pioneers in specialist radio broadcasting, bringing you everything to enhance your health and well-being. Health is your human right. HBS, your partners in everything about your health and well-being. HBS Daily News Dose coming to you from the Health Broadcasting Service, HBS Radio Live Channel, UK. GSK, Sanofi and Halion shares slump on Zantac litigation concerns. Here is the summary. First Zantac trial to begin later this month. Drug contains probable carcinogen regulators. Deutsche Bank says liability could be dollar billion magnitude. Shares in GSK, Sanofi and Halion fell sharply on Thursday, following declines earlier this week, amid growing investor concerns about US litigation focused on a heartburn drug that contained a probable carcinogen. Around 14 o'clock GMT, GSK shares were down 6.8%, Sanofi's were down 6.9% and Halion's down 5.6%. GSK and Sanofi at various points sold the drug originally branded as Zantac which US regulators ordered off the market in 2020. Halion, spun out as an independent listed company last month, comprises consumer health assets once partly owned by GSK. The prospect of impending litigation is not new. Among other disclosures, recently listed Halion had highlighted the risk of such lawsuits in its prospectus. The topic has arrived in investor consciousness in recent days it seems but has been rumbling on in the background for a few years, Deutsche Bank analysts wrote in a note. The litigation has just started to be talked about more by investors and written about in the media, Barclays analyst Emily Field said in an email. I think the panic really comes down to market psychology as opposed to having learned anything new. Zantac became the world's best-selling medicine in 1988 and one of the first-ever drugs to top $1 billion in annual sales. However, concerns around the compound known chemically as ranitidine containing potential cancer-causing impurities started to emerge in 2018, well after generic versions of the medicine had been launched by a variety of manufacturers. More than 2,000 legal cases related to Zantac have now been filed in the United States, analysts say, with the first trial beginning later this month. It is very possible we may see a liability of some dollar billion magnitude, the Deutsche Bank analysts wrote. Uncertainty over the issue has sparked fears of a worst-case scenario where costs run into the billions of dollars, as happened in cases involving Merck and companies Painkiller Vioxx and Bayer's glyphosate-based weed killer. Not primarily liable. A decline of as much as 12% in Halion shares on Thursday meant some $5 billion had been knocked off its value this week. It recovered some of those losses after a spokesperson told Reuters the company was not primarily liable for any claim. We have never marketed Zantac in any form in the US, as Halion or as GSK Consumer Healthcare, the person said. Zantac, originally marketed by a forerunner of GSK, has been sold by several companies since the late 1990s, including Pfizer, Berheringer Ingelheim, and Sanofi. That may make third parties liable ahead of any Halion exposure, the Halion spokesperson added. A Pfizer spokesperson said in an email. Pfizer, which has not sold a Zantac product in more than 15 years and did so only for a limited period of time, will continue to defend itself vigorously. Pfizer shares were down about 3% in early US trading. GSK did not immediately respond to requests for comment. A Berheringer spokesperson said via email the company would defend itself against any allegations, while Sanofi issued a statement saying it remained confident in its legal defenses and that there had not been any material developments regarding the US Zantac litigation. GSK and Pfizer have each served Halion with notice of potential claims of indemnification, but indemnification has not yet been determined between the parties, the Halion spokesperson said. After US and European regulators said they were reviewing Zantac safety in 2018, some manufacturers voluntarily took their version off the shelves. By 2020, the US Food and Drug Administration requested makers of all versions of the treatment to withdraw their products from the market. By 1340 GMT, the two-day route had wiped as much as $46 billion off the market values of GSK, Halion, and Sanofi combined. 
trading was heavy, with Sanofi volume reaching more than three times the 90-day average. GSK volume was almost twice the average. Feel free to connect with us on our Facebook platform at Health Broadcast and our website at www.healthbroadcastingservice.com. And please remember to press the subscribe button to stay abreast of timely, vital, and authentic health news developments from around the world, delivered to you by the Health Broadcasting Service UK, on our YouTube channel. We will bring more updates as news develop. Stay safe and remain healthy. Bye for now. You've been watching the Health Broadcasting Service YouTube channel. Your channel of excellence and distinction. Pioneering specialist radio broadcasting. Giving you the best experience. Subscribe to our channel.